So Spider-Man fans and PlayStation fans are freaking out a little bit right now because it seems that we are going to be getting something new for Spider-Man 2 possibly as soon as tomorrow. The reason people are thinking this is because over on the PlayStation Store, the ability to wishlist Spider-Man 2 on PS5 has popped up. And this came out of nowhere, but if you've been following this actually comes after some Insomniac community managers were seemingly teasing something regarding Spider-Man 2. But fans were unsure if they should allow themselves to get too excited because it's been a long time since we've seen anything on Spider-Man 2. We haven't gotten an update in well over a year. So in order for people to kind of spare themselves the potential disappointment, they're maybe just kind of sitting back thinking, mm, maybe this doesn't really mean anything. But now that we're seeing this pop up on the PlayStation Store and people are now able to wishlist it, I believe it's specifically in the UK as of right now. And I've actually seen some people pointing out that it's been removed. But I'm also seeing some people claim that it's still up for them. I think at this point, it's completely safe to assume that we're going to get something and to get excited because this is a clear sign that Insomniac is getting ready to, I would say at the very least, drop a new trailer, but maybe also give us an official release date. Now, it's worth noting that tomorrow on December 13th, we are set to get a new trailer for Across the Spider-Verse. And recently, the actor who plays Miles Morales in Spider-Man for PlayStation seemingly teased something regarding Spider-Man 2, basically saying that we're going to end the year off right, and he kind of stopped there, but a lot of people interpreted what he said as we're going to be getting something new regarding Spider-Man 2 for PS5. To me, this is the clearest sign that we are getting something for Spider-Man 2, and it's actually really exciting because, as I said, PlayStation had a really good presence at the Game Awards, and they they announced more, I think, than they ever have during a Game Awards show, and now they seemingly are not done. They want to talk about Spider-Man 2 a little bit and give fans an update, and I think that this is a great way, if they're doing this, to end 2022 and also to help give Sony and Insomniac Games that extra momentum going into 2023. Now, the big question I have with this is not whether or not we're going to get something for Spider-Man 2. It's clear we are. I'm wondering what exactly it's going to be. Is it going to be a gameplay trailer? Is it going to be a story trailer? Is it going to be a mix of both? And are we going to get the release date? And that's the thing. I feel like getting a release date now would mean we're going to be getting this game sooner rather than later. That's just pure speculation on my part, but it would seem a little bit strange to me for Insomniac to come out and give us a specific release date for Spider-Man 2 in December of 2022 if it's not coming out until what I think most people were expecting, the end of 2023. I did point out on my Twitter yesterday that Sony doesn't seemingly have a big AAA first-party PlayStation 5 exclusive title lined up for the first half of 2023. People are looking at Forspoken coming out in January. That's not coming from Sony's first party. That's coming from Square Enix. Sony has it locked down as an exclusive. There is PSVR 2 and Horizon Call of the Mountain, but again, that doesn't necessarily count, in my opinion, as the big PS5 exclusive. And then people are also looking at Final Fantasy 16, which is undoubtedly a massive game that's going to launch on the PS5, but that's coming out uh, later in June. So there's this really kind of big gap between January and June that has not really been filled in. And I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but you know, I'm going to speculate anyway. I am beginning to wonder, is it possible that this could be the game that Sony has lined up as their big tentpole flagship exclusive title coming from the first party for the first half of 2023? Sounds too good to be true. So I'm just going to kind of you know, put that on the back burner for now and assume that's absolutely not the case, but just some food for thought here 
on the cusp of what seems to be something significant regarding Spider-Man 2. Anyway, guys, that does it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it or found it informative. Leave it a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification icon and feel free to share the video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.